Hi guys, welcome to The Crafty Witch UK. My name's Arietta and today I've got some posts to open. Um, these come from Diamond Art Studio and from Diamond Painting Gym. So we'll start off with this one. Pretty, pretty purple. Okay, so. Now, this is my order of cover minders, yes, um, which they have just started doing. Um, there's quite a large range and um, so yeah, I, I picked up three. Oops. I love the little bag, it's adorable. Um, what does this say? Cover minder with N45 Neo Dimium magnet. Uh, these magnets are exceptionally strong and may cause damage unless carefully handled. Keep magnets away from electronic devices, phones, computers, and magnetic media, credit cards, etc., as the magnetic field may cause damage. Keep out of reach of children and pets. So, uh, the ones I picked up are this one, which I really liked. So it just says, enjoy the little things. And yeah, on the back it's just got it's got this small magnet that's incredibly strong that sits on the back and um, yeah, but I'm gonna I'll pop it on there for now. Keep it safe. Um, the other two I got Uh, this one I thought was absolutely adorable. Uh, reminded me of the the sort of seasons tree that um, you see quite a lot in diamond painting um, canvases. But this is sort of a tree made of coloured butterflies. So, and again, it's got a slightly different back. Um, this one had the plain silver back. Uh, this one's got sort of a chunkier, like a traditional fridge magnet back, I suppose. Um, but still with the same additional magnet. So put that one on there. And then finally, from them, again, I just thought this was really pretty. Um, so it's slightly metallic, this image. Um, and it's somewhere between a cherry blossom and a Tudor rose, I guess. Um, it's, I just thought it was really pretty. Um, I liked the colors, I liked the pattern. So, and I mean, you really, I've never been able to fault, fault Diamond Art Studio for their packaging. Um, absolutely adorable, love it. So, um, yeah, just to say those are, um, oh, I've lost my page. Okay, so the cover minders, these ones were £2.20 each. And because I'm in the UK, I get free shipping. So it was £6.60 for the three. They're a really good weight, actually. So they'll be really good for holding down um, either the clear covers or um, my light pad. Um, is magnetic so I can I can use cover minders to just hold my canvas still on my light pad. It's particularly good if you're working at an angle because um, it stops it from sliding down towards you. So this package um, as I say is from Diamond Painted Jim. Um, you can find him on YouTube. Um, he has a diamond painting channel. He's also got a Facebook group. Um, I would really recommend um, checking him out. He's got some brilliant how-to videos, goes really in depth um, on not only what to do, but also looks at, um, one of the things that I like is that he talks about why, why, why you should do things a certain way or why he does things a certain way. Um, yeah, and certainly his Facebook community is incredibly friendly, really chill, and um, I am really enjoying being a part of it. As part of that Facebook community, uh, he runs the occasional competition. Um, this competition was akin to the 
how many sweets in a jar kind of thing that you may have seen at Fates. Um, but it was how many drills in the four drill trays. <laughs> um, if I can find a picture, I will pop in a little picture of what it was I had to make a guess at. And um, yeah, so out of everybody that had a guess, I was the closest. And this is my prize. So. Oh. Oh, goodness. Right. Right, get everything out of there. So he just says, hi Arietta, congratulations on winning the competition. I hope you enjoy the pen, cover minder and fridge magnet. Um, post a picture on the group and let us know what you think of the licorice. <laughs> so one of the things I did know was that um, whenever he sends out gifts, he likes, um, he likes to put in licorice um, because Jim lives in Denmark. And apparently their licorice is different to anything else. Um, okay, so this is, I if I was gonna guess, I'd say sea salt <laughs> licorice. So yeah, I will, true to my word, I will give that a try in just a moment when I've worked up the courage. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so I don't know. How interesting. But yeah, so I'll give that a go in a moment. Before then though, um, oh, I'm gonna need some scissors. There we go. What I've got here are, uh, is another cover minder come out okay. uh, and this one it's got Jim's face on so, and again really good strong magnet um, I'll pop it with the other ones get a collection now um, I do have a, a few anyway it's it's something that I have enjoyed purchasing to go alongside all the other bits and bobs that you really don't need but are just fun to have when you start diamond painting um yeah I I was one of those people that thought oh I won't ever need a special pen what's wrong with the pen that comes with the kit that you don't have to pay for um and then I purchased um was I, I got a kit from Spell Queen and it came with a free pen. Um, and I was like, oh, this this is much nicer, <laughs> a thicker pen. And then eventually um, shopped around, purchased more pens. It, it's, yeah, the addiction is real. So this is a slightly different style. So um, this one is more of a plastic. And this one is more almost like a pin badge material and has the rubbery magnet on the back, but still has the additional magnets so that you can use it as a cover minder. Okay. This, talking of diamond painting pens, um, this is kind of, I guess, the main part of the prize. Um, so this is uh, a wax tipped diamond painting pen um, and then I believe, yeah, um, just take it out of there, oh, which way? there we go um yeah so this end it is hollow but it really is too thin for um to, to sort of fill with wax and use and um, the way that you would a single placer 
uh, I think it's more designed for moving your drills around if they're not quite in the right place because this is the wax tipped end that you would use to place the drill and from what I've read these ends are quite soft and so you couldn't use this end to maneuver your drill around um, so let's just, just see if it picks up anything this is just my little trash pot um yeah so here you can see, you can't see you can't see anything oh there we go so yeah you can see I've picked up a tiny little gem on the end um, and then yeah you would move it around that way so that's going to be really fun to use I think it will be really good for special shapes um, I might even try it with some uh, ABs to see if I have more luck with this than with the you know, pink wax and a regular pen um, yeah thank you very much Jim that's really incredibly kind and really lovely and I can't wait to try it out so the inevitable moment right. oh. okay I don't even know if I like English licorice particularly it it's not too bad um let's Hold on a second. I'm just gonna, I will pull some out so that you guys can see. Let's just get some to put them on. There we go. <laughs> so let's move you down a little bit and you can you can experience this as well. <laughs> so um Gosh, all different shells. Oh, there's a shell. <laughs> We've got a star. I haven't actually put one in my mouth yet. I've not been quite brave enough. <laughs> um, they, don't, they don't smell bad. They just sort of smell sweet. Okay. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go for a shell. Um, so I feel like the darker coloured ones are gonna be <laughs> are gonna be stronger in flavour. Oh Jim, I hope you appreciate this. <laughs> oh wow. Oh goodness. Okay. Yeah, that's it's an experience. <laughs> um I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the sort of thing that will grow on you, flavour-wise. But um, yeah, they are very salty, um, which is it's so odd because I associate licorice with being a sweet. Um, but yeah, wow, how interesting! I'm definitely going to get the rest of my family to try these. Um, <laughs> they can help me eat them. But um, I think for now. Um, I'm going to say goodbye. Um, please do consider dropping me a like, um, subscribing, hit the notification button, become a member of the Crafty Coven, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!